Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So in this video we are going to discuss that how we can trace a curve. So you will be given with an equation of a curve and you need to find out five things in order to trace a curve on your graph paper. What are these five things? First of all the symmetry. Whether the curve is symmetrical about x-axis or y-axis. You will see that if there will be even power of x, then curve will be symmetrical about y-axis. And if there will be even power of y, then curve will be symmetrical about x-axis. Thereafter, you need to find out whether the curve is passing through origin and what is its tangent. So, for origin, you need to put the value of x as 0 and find out value of y or do vice versa. You will get your answer. And for tangent, there will be two things. I'll, I'll tell you later what you can do in it. Third step is how you can find out asymptote. We have already learned that how we can find out asymptote uh, parallel to y-axis, parallel to x-axis, and if they are inclined, then how we can find them. Thereafter, the fourth point is point of intersection, where actually curve intersects asymptote, where it is intersecting the axis, okay? And the last but not the least is region of existence. Whether the curve, we have the region where the curve should be real, okay? So let's begin. One by one, we will see how we can find all these terms. So for symmetry, as I told you, see, I'm giving you an example. This is your parabola. Can I ask you what's this uh, equation? So because it is symmetrical to x-axis, so it will be y square is equal to 4x. And it is symmetrical to y-axis. Symmetry means if you are having mirror, y-axis is your mirror, you will have both of the images as same, right? This is your x square is equal to 4ay. So, here you, you have symmetrical about y-axis, but your power, even power is of x. Here, even power of uh, y, is e y is having even power, but it is symmetrical about x-axis. So, for symmetry, you need to check out which variable is having even powers. And it will be symmetrical about other one another one. So if it is x even powers, so it will be symmetrical about y axis. That's correct. And vice versa. Okay. If it, it y will have even powers, then it will be symmetrical about, about x axis. That's correct. Secondly, you need to find out the asymptotes. Do you know how to find them? Right? Let me recapitulate. Asymptote means a line, a straight line, which intersects a curve, which intersects a curve at two points. But those are in def um, points which are indefinite. I mean on indefinite line. So let's say this is your curve and you are having your A's in touch somewhere, let's say here for example, or you have a curve like this and you are having asymptote like here. So you can see it will intersect, it will definitely intersect, but at some infinite point, okay? So for asymptote to check it out whether it is parallel to x-axis, you need to find out highest coefficient, highest degree coefficient and put it as 0. Highest degree coefficient and put it as 0. If it is the highest degree coefficient of x, then it will be parallel to x-axis. If it will be higher coefficient, degree coefficient of y, then it will be parallel to y-axis. Okay? So this is what you need to know. Third point is to find out about whether the curve is passing through origin or not and the tangent. So for origin, it's simple fact that if you put the value of x as 0 and that will give you y as 0, then it will be definitely passing through origin. Okay. But for tangent, 
ancient bear in mind let me tell you see this is your coordinate plane now let's say you have two tangents here and your curve is like touching at single point and touching at single point somewhat like this so you can see the point where curve has two branches emerging out two branches that is called double point okay and that double point is classified into two things whether cusp or node all right so for this is node when you will have real but distinct values different values of your points how you will find out the points by taking the lowest degree terms and put them as zero okay let's say you have a ax square plus y as zero or 2 let's say now your lowest degree term is let's say this is 3 this is 2 so your lowest degree term is y square it is 0 so y you will get both of the values of y will be 0 so these are real but equal that case will be considered as cusp for example let me tell you so for this graph you can see that both of the points of the curve it has double point but they are equal right it is originating from equal point so in that case you will have cusp i'll tell you if you are not uh, getting uh, these things then don't worry we'll get, uh, take an example and i'll tell you how you can understand it in a better way okay um thereafter you need to find out point of intersection for point of intersection firstly check it out start from origin put x as 0 and if y is 0 then your intersection point is 0 0 and take consider you are asymptote as well whatever it would be okay and put it as let's say your asymptote came as y is equals to a then put it into the equation and find out the value of x and then find out the point of intersection okay last but not the least your region of existence so do you remember the concept of uh, domain and range whenever you are given with something uh, any polynomial any root form then you need to check it out whether it is having real value or not how you can check that see for example you have x is equals to plus minus y upon y minus a okay let's say this is your point of intersection or this is the form of equation you are given with then you can see to have real value of x in plus and minus form this y should be greater than or equals to 0 right because if it would be negative then you will get negative root and that would be imaginary then not real right and for denominator form denominator should not be zero right for real values so what it can be it can be greater than a greater than value of a or if your asymptote is equal to a then it can be equal to as well okay so your point will your y will lie on greater than 0 but less but uh, and greater than a as well right so a and 0 will be your points okay and you need to put the uh, play, trace the curve using all these things okay so let's begin how to make a trace how to trace a curve in our next video if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.